God bless you saints. This is a word for the saints who really have nowhere to call home. Maybe you're somewhere, but it just doesn't feel like home. Maybe you're actually homeless. There's a lot of saints on the road with families and kids and animals staying at hotels and motels and couch surfing and Airbnbs. And again, some just staying places where they just would rather not be. In Matthew 8, Jesus is talking about how everything seems to have a place to call home. And then he says, but the son of man has no place to lie his head. I want you to know that you are in the most excellent of company. Romans 8 talks about partaking in Christ's sufferings. One thing I know about the Lord is he doesn't bring everyone through the same journeys, through the same difficulties. And it might not feel like you're called and chosen when you're going through these really difficult seasons, but to the contrary. Not only is the Lord with you as I speak, but... He put this aside for you, this time for you. When you come out of this time, your faith is going to be ridiculous. And that's what this journey is all about, faith. When the Lord brings you to something, he brings you through it, okay? That's not just a t-shirt slogan, that's actual, factual. He will, without a doubt, provide for you. He will, without a doubt, keep you safe on these travels. If you just keep going forward and trusting him, you'll see great things. Some things that other people will never have that opportunity. You know, sometimes the Lord just wants you off the boat. Sometimes he just wants you on that water, bow-legged and shaking like a baby deer. And you might have your moments of doubt or when the enemy wants to sow some lies or worry, but just rebuke that all. You know, the time when the Lord has you most covered is when you're not in the boat. It doesn't, you don't really need a lot of faith when you're in the boat, when you've got all the provision that you could possibly need. Though so often that's exactly what we want because it makes us comfortable. It's really the antithesis to faith. It's, it's, it doesn't allow us to rely on him. You know, in these times that are coming, it occurs to me now that, of course, really difficult times are coming. We know that. But for those of you whom the Lord has on the water right now, you know, you are those who are going to need that big faith in order to help others who, for the first time, once things hit, you know, various places in America, of course, the whole world's going to feel what's coming, the tribulation. But especially in America, especially in UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, especially in these places which aren't used to, let's say, great shakings. A lot of people, a lot of Christians are going to be getting out of the boat for the first time in their entire lives. And they're going to need seasoned believers. You know, the Lord, I have, I'm reminded of a word from several months ago, God is raising up judges. And, and yes, even now I want to say he is appointing elders. He's maturing you in your faith. You're, there's nothing but profit in a season of what we will call, and I'm going to put in quotes, homelessness. Because you know what? What they say is true. Home is where the heart is. And you know what? Where's your heart? It's with the Lord. I know it is. Your life is hidden with Him. And so though you may be, again, on the road or, you know, in these, in these difficult situations, some of you, in places that... You have a roof over your head and you're grateful, but it just doesn't feel like home, you know, and maybe you're in a place with a lot of people who don't know the Lord or don't love the Lord or don't act like the Lord. And he knows that's difficult, but he's also not surprised by where you are and, and he will keep you. And as he moves you forward, don't go backwards. I believe there is a time where God was leading the Israelites through the wilderness and he actually took them the long way intentionally so that they wouldn't turn back. Sorry for the darkness. You know, I recorded this like a little while ago um, when it was still light out, but it wasn't the right word. You just feast on the bread of life. You just drink up all that living water, saints. 
you just learn all these lessons because that's what it's like it's like boot camp okay it's boot camp they're going through uh why well the phrase that came to my heart was a rite of passage but these these situations are preparing you to prepare others and I want you to know that if you have children with you, you've got little ones with you, they're, they're so safe. And the Lord will send angels to minister right with you, to war right with you and for you. Stay in the joy of the Lord because you never know uh, who's gonna, who you're going to cross on your path that just needs that, that, that how do you say, that, that Lord's joy from you. So we hit, um, I wanted just to hit Matthew in Romans 8. Matthew 8, uh, the Lord said, even uh, the Son of Man has no place to rest his head. And then I wanted to hit Romans 8, which talks about being a partaker in Christ's sufferings. And how much more than to, to not really have a place to call home. It's really difficult. But he won't leave you. He won't forsake you. And he's chosen you to endure this. Endure with gladness. Get out those journals. You creative people. Uh, get out your instruments. You know, write some songs. Write some poetry. Some spoken words. Some journal entries. Get out your highlighters in your Bibles. You know, really keep your eyes peeled for, for the miraculous. Okay? In these situations, suffering is never in vain it's it's not wasted learn to rejoice amidst the craziness because you're learning to rest in just such an incredibly deep way in the lord so that when the these great great shakings come to the the places that i've listed earlier that'll just be like shallow water to you you know and you'll be helping people wade into the water wade in the water Wait in the water now. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. I really feel that. I really feel that the Lord is going to bring these great shakings to places that are not used to it. So you continue getting prepared. You're going to come out of this with that super duper Jesus faith saints. Have no worries. Have no fear. Beloved, the Lord has gone ahead of you and made a path and made a way. And all you have to do is rejoice. You're in the hand of your Lord. No place better to be. Please don't expect your walk to look like everyone else's saints because I'm talking to people whom the Lord has specifically, decidedly carved out a path for you that doesn't look like everyone else's path. So just rejoice in Him. Give Him thanks. Learn up every lesson you can because you know what? Every season must pass at one time or another. The Lord goes before you and He is with you.